Hey, what's up, guys? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Let's get started with another amazing Element 3D tutorial from Season 2. So, right now we're in After Effects. First of all, you have to take a new comp here. I'm taking it like Full HD and then just press OK. Basically, we are trying to create some photorealistic aerial view from buildings. So, just take a new solid and name it E3D and simply take it black or then just press OK and go to effects controls right click video copilot and then element this is a very basic steps now I have to go inside of this scene setup where we will do the lot of stops here so first of all go to this metropolitan pack and go metropolitan if you have familiar with metropolitan you know about this go down you can find this many amazing buildings I need a uh, just street layout 05 just move it here that's it and straight layout 04 move it here i need bit rotation of this so just rotate it that's it so the variations will come in a good way then just press ok so this is the very basic steps are done here so right click a new and then take a camera and i'm taking it around 200 millimeters and then just press ok go to the camera here and just move it a bit like this and now what i have to do select element 3d go group one and from particle replicator from point change it to 3d grid and now just decrease from 3 to 0 or 1 like a basic one and change the x-axis scale something like this and x-axis scale something here that's it if you really want to increase it a bit more you can exactly make it to 4 so now what happened if you just increase it more so it's just a bit like this okay now it looks like more copy some clones effects but when you zoom in inside it will not look like that okay that's it so first of all you have to do some very very basic animations here so let's check the camera animations first so this is our very first beginning positions okay fine and first of all uh, just select the camera press p here and then shift a for point of interest select the keyframes and you have to go take around like 10 frames and right click trim to comp area okay so now just change the positions and some bit rotations something like that so this is our very very basic animations just press zero to buffer this now you can see how much this animation is it's very basic animation you can play with this camera settings and all in fact you can play with like multiple cameras multiple camera angles like top view bottom view or inside of the building views but the process is all same okay so that's it uh let's play it in render view yeah this is fine okay so now you have to do a lot of other stuffs in element 3d so first of all select element 3d and just turn it off go to render settings where you can find this one called physical environment select this first and you can see this one so just increase it to 100 percent so it means no light is here to affect the entire scene and now you have to take another new light but before that we have to go to this new horizontal view and from here i'm just select the camera so it means the camera is starting from this angle and we need the light from this direction okay so right click new and then a light i'm taking a parallel light intensity 750 pretty nice and press ok so it right now the light is coming from this direction but i need the light should be coming from this direction so press p here and you have to change the directions here by like this and then simply you have to check the light intensity and just push it back here on this axis and makes positions here yup and obviously have to take the light to up bit uh, like uh, this okay this is too much i think this should be go down a bit like this yup this is fine now based on my output i maybe change that in future the positions and all that's pretty looking some weird kind of thing because we are not adding some ambient light so right click first new and then light from here i'm taking ambient light and change the colors uh, something like this and intensity make it to 95 percent and then just press ok so this is our main ambient light with this ambient light and this is without our ambient light that's it now we have to get to fit to screen and select the parallel light and that's it and i'm just change the light intensity to a bit higher and select the ambient light and i'm just decreasing it 
bit like this that's it press ok ok so now it's looking still some uh, non realistic parts but we have to go realm in 3d effects controls and now the most important steps are coming so you have to select the shadows here just zoom in here so that you can exactly see what I'm trying to show you here right now so first of all you have to turn on the shadows here so this is the shadow is right now turned on but make sure you have to change from shadow map to ray traced map so you have to wait for a few times so it will start updating now see this is with the ray traced on okay so now what happened when you move here you can exactly see with ray trace how it's look like it's super realistic so this is without and this is with ray trace okay the shadows are coming so realistic so make it to fit to screen and move it to first frame and here I'm just changing again the light positions as I told before that based on my output I will change the light colors and intensities and all so I think it's pretty high yeah this is right now fine the lights are affecting on this panels as well okay so now I have to select element 3d again and we have to go back to our ambient occlusions and if you really want to increase the sample rates you can exactly do it by changing it here but based on your system you have to do that now I have to go to this ambient occlusions just turn it on here also if you check with this and without this so you have to change from here to ray traced so you have to wait few seconds again now this is with the ray traced and it started looking some amazing render effect so this is without ambient occlusions and this is with the ambient occlusion that's it if you really want to change the intensity from here you can exactly do it i don't think we need to change it anything from here so i'm just left it everything something here so right now we have to go back to element 3d to do some very basic setups here so let's go to the scene setup again to make some renders effects so just select this two and right click and reflection mode change it to environment so what happened this should be affected by environment so i just want to change the environment to some basic very basic environment so just turn off the draft texture so that you can exactly see some detailed textures here so the let's turn on the environment and this is the environment is right now applied here so i think this environment is pretty nice for this render because this is also a building environment here and we're also trying to achieve some building results so then just press ok so now what happened you have to wait for a few seconds to update it or else it automatically update based on your system okay now we don't need some more details here but we need some more render settings so again you have to save it first but we have to do some reflectivity intensity so just increase the reflectivity to 3 so we are now increasing the reflectivity to 3 because when the reflection will start adding it will automatically visible on the reflections panels now if you really don't need that specular so make it to 0.5 and we need some amazing from the enhanced multism just turn it on so that you can exactly see some pixels are getting changing and from here make it to 16 that's it again you can see the renders are getting more crystal clear make it to fit to screen now the most important step which is our color corrections without that the entire sequence is not much too good okay so first of all right click new and then again you have to take an adjustment layer and just move it back here right click new and make it to cc means color corrections right click color corrections and i'm taking a uh, lumetri colors and from here i'll import my very basic color correction preset so this is the final output after applying that color corrections you can exactly see it start looking some joker movie kind of effect some little bit of green and blue and some warm tint effect so what i did i just increasing the temperature value and i just added my very own basic lut you can really download this lut link is in description box below it's completely free so go and download now we need a bit motion blur and also some depth of field so go to camera view and here we are adding some very basic camera depth of field just turn it on here so that you can exactly see some depth of fields are by default will apply make it again save this is the most important step again without save you see the, this is with this depth of field so we don't need that go to horizontal view so that you can see how the depth of field so this is our depth of field area so what you can do just increase the focus distance and let's increase it to here just like this so now you can exactly see this update will little bit change so make it to few one screen okay this is with depth of field so this area is in blur this area is maybe in focus but we don't need this much so just move it a little bit back here and let's make it to 
50 because we need a very very basic depth of field like camera default depth of field so now see this area is blurs as always and obviously this area is in focus and all and then make it to fit to screen and again you have to take this camera motion blur and after that we have to apply here on the motion blur effect as well and after that you can render it completely up to you how you can render it in multiple cameras and all so this is it for today guys hope you really enjoyed this amazing photorealistic render process inside of element 3d now you can do what you can create this amazing renders and don't forget to tag me on our instagram page link is in description box below and don't forget to follow us on our rest of the social media handles like facebook twitter linkedin and all see you next time with some more amazing content and before leaving please do subscribe to our channel vfx world keep watching keep rocking bye bye